a lot of times people are like, oh, how do you cry like on cue or whatever? Mm -hmm. It's not like crying on cue. It's like you have to find what makes you cry. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how your body works to get there, that's how you get there. Can you cry mm -hmm. on yeah. demand, Eric? I can't cry on demand, but um, if I was like talking about something, I'll start to get like choked up. And, yeah. Because yeah. I will say that for some reason, like realistic things for me, I can't. It, it takes me a little over work to get there, like yeah, in a yeah. scene, like a realistic scene. Um, but in like sci-fi settings, like I did a, a scene from Star Trek, remember when um, so we, I'm, I'm already getting like goosebumps right this thinking about it. <laughs> But the scene where Burnham goes into, uh, I think. Oh, you were Burnham? Yeah. Oh, I was, so you were crying. No, I was the guy that was in the starship. He was basically the last, like, Starfleet officer. And, um. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The Indian guy. <laughs> yeah. See, like, <laughs> oh I'm like, I'm like, I'm tuned in right I know. now. Yeah. Like, Yo, yeah, but he's maybe. right. Yeah, he's he right. Like, and he was talking about, like, how he. It changed his life. And. Yeah, like, how his father had given him this, this flag. Yeah. And he was like, he didn't want his, his father down. And it was this whole story about it. Yeah, yeah. It was a very emotional yeah. scene. In fact, when I, I teared up watching that scene, and then Eric, when he saw it a day or two later, because he's always a couple of days behind, uh, <laughs> he texts me. He's like, I teared up watching this yeah. scene. I said, so did I. But I didn't know you performed that scene. Yeah, so I performed the scene, and then and that's... You got through it without crying, or did huh? you have to cry? Do you have to cry for that scene? I didn't have to. I was just allowing myself to get there. Mm. And, and it wasn't until... Not my... my my current, I might, well, I'm not with her, her anymore, but my previous coach, I ended up, um, she wouldn't give me no tips. And I'm all like, <laughs> I got to get out of here because she doesn't know what is going on. Yeah. Because I asked her, you know, what could I do better in the scene for me to actually really, really get there to mm -hmm. get the waterworks going? Because I was getting teary eyed, but for some reason, I couldn't get past that point to yeah. where seeing tears like coming out. And, um, but I will say, you don't, just because you get choked up and teary eyed, that may be enough for the scene. You, you may not have to. Start go all the, the all the way yeah yeah so um, i mean just now when you were kind of getting emotional me and her were like yeah i was oh, like damn. oh yeah and that, that <laughs> <laughs> eric's, like, eric's like and see right exactly yeah. anyway, girl, <laughs> but, he's like, anyway girls that's how we do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> a life lesson right there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but um dang but I met with a different coach and he nailed it like right away what was yeah. the problem and for me to get there and all that stuff like that what was the problem so, I'm curious um, what it was I, w I was playing the end of the scene at the beginning and I wasn't giving enough build up you weren't living it sense. yeah I wasn't really like living I was living it already I was living at the end at the beginning of the scene and he goes cause like, he goes oh it's that kind of monotone like you're just the same emotion the whole point and I was like oh my god I didn't even mm realize that so there was like no slowly get right. to it yeah so it kind of it, it adds a deeper dynamic like because if you're because most scenes um there's a change in emotion mm -hmm. at the beginning of the scene you're happy and then by the end you're sad there's always an opposite 